pick. You'll find no second rate items at Wagner's. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. And welcome back, all my adventurers. Today, we're going to be doing another read along. But this time, we are not going to continue Fear's Melancholy until we find. Um, until we find four, then we can go on to five. Right now, we're going to start the Fox in the Dandelion Z. All right, so volume one. Dandelion, Dandelion, ride the wind to a faraway land, the little fox chanted. He blew the dandelion flower and went the seeds flying. He then spoke in a serious tone. May my teacher's wishes ride the wind and reach the animal archon. A wind blew past us and swept away the dandelion seeds. Did they fly to a better place, carrying my hopes and dreams with them? When did this happen? Some time ago, behind the village, there grew a forest of countless lush trees. At the center of this forest was a small lake. The lake was like a stained glass window of Monset's Cathedral, crystal clear and shimmering in the sunlight. The sun shone through the treetops and glistened on the water's surface like a fragment of gemstone. It was really something. The weather was cool that day. I was hunting in the forest when I arrived at the lake's edge. The shimmering water somehow reminded me of a girl I loved a long time ago. I couldn't remember much about her, but I felt that her eyes must have looked like the lake, glimmering as if harboring fragments of gemstones within it. I become lost in thought as I stared at the glistening water, walking transfixed along the lakeside. I had forgotten entirely that I was out for a hunt. I came to when I heard a sound of something freezing up. It was a mist flower growing by the lakeside. Having just frozen the water around it, next to it was a white fox its tail frozen in the ice. Poor critter. It must have had its tail in the water by the mist flower while it was drinking. The mist flowers are dangerous plants and can cause frostbite if handled without care. Extreme caution must be taken when handling them. As it saw me approach, the fox struggled in fear, but its still frozen tail kept it rooted to the spot. The fox whimpered in pain. Oh no, this won't do. I thought to myself, poor critter, is gonna die anyway if I don't save it. May as well end its pain by bringing it home as my game of the day. I imagined what a delicious fox stew I could cook with the carrots I grew. Just thinking about it, gave me the energy and brought a smile to my face. So I took out my hunting bow, slowly walked towards it. Be good and stay put. And that is the end of volume one. <laughs> the, okay, wow. Um, yeah, that is, that is a human nature, you know? It, wow, okay, I wasn't expecting him just to straight up go for the kill <laughs> i was expecting him to you know be one of those characters that have a heart but no he's he went straight to mm, <laughs> food <laughs> but yeah that is volume one of the fox in the dandelion sea if you guys want more feel free to leave a like and support the series i will definitely be bringing out more Right now, I am missing four, so we'll probably end up stopping at three unless I find four. Then we'll continue it all the way to, you know, seven because I don't have eight or nine. With that said, hope you guys enjoy and I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.